Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video. Talking about the MLB in this one for Tuesday, June 20th. We got five really good picks for you guys, as always. So stay tuned for all five. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and also get in the free Discord over here. A lot of people winning big over here, as you can see. With all this green, this is the VIP picks, actually, if you're interested in that. But definitely get in the Discord for free here. Other people winning in here. A lot of good talk going on about the MLB, going heavy in MLB and WNBA right now. So definitely get in the Discord, too, for all of that. In addition to these videos, all of our picks in the VIP are going to be less than a dollar per month. Or you could do the $5 day pass as well to test it out. All that will be linked down below in the description and the pinned comment. For this one, one of my favorite picks here, gonna be Freddie Freeman on the half run on the over. Don't see him that much at just a one half run here. And this game expects to be high scoring against the Angels. As you can see over here on DraftKings, it's a eight and a half run total. Actually just went down from nine, but uh, you know, Dodgers favorite, so they have a little higher Implied run total, probably around five in this game. And Freddie Freeman, if you didn't know, one of the biggest run getters in the MLB. Been on like a little cold streak too as far as runs. So expecting a bounce back from him and the Dodgers in this game. Freeman, you know, just had a half run. Looking at his career stats, last two seasons, 117, 120 runs. Absolutely insane. 117 was good for second in all of the majors in runs, 59 this year already. I looked it up before. You're just going to have to trust me. I think he's like third, maybe fourth in runs, but on a cold streak, as you saw, and so are the Dodgers. But we are expecting a bounce back here in Freeman, just one of the top run getters at a half run. Seems like a really good one to take here. So going with Freeman for the first pick. The second one is going to be Tyler Glasnow. And taking his strikeouts, they've been really ambitious with his strikeout props on prize picks here. So I'm going to take the under. Seven and a half is a lot. We could maybe see this one drop. You could see the last three games he's hit six, hit eight once, and then five. And that's actually dating back to October. So he's only pitched in four games. And so far in four of those games, haven't hasn't even touched seven strikeouts. So... I think after, you know, the first game, they were pretty ambitious about Glasnow playing the Baltimore Orioles, who have been a surprise, good young team as well. So looking at him, obviously last year, small sample size, only played two games, 10 strikeouts, average of five so far this year in four games, averaging under seven. So I do like the under on, on Glasnow here for strikeouts. The next one, we're going to another strikeout. Prop here, but this one is actually hitter strikeouts. Paul DeJong here, one and a half strikeouts. Gonna be taking the under on that. He has been all over the place with the strikeouts, but playing the Washington Nationals. Actually, if you come over to him on ESPN, you can look at the batters versus pitchers. He's never played Gore, who's expected to start here for the Nationals, so we don't ex exactly know what to expect from him here. But also looking at Gore, he is set at five and a half strikeouts, so not a crazy amount here. And I think just looking at DeJong here on the game log, you'd see the strikeouts. It's not super often that he goes over one and a half. You know, he even put together a lot of streaks here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games in a row here where he was under two strikeouts. And you could find those all over the place to start the season. It was one, two, three games with that one strikeout, and then two more under two. So DeJong, I think one and a half is just a little too high, and I would be taking the under on him for all of these reasons. All right, then the next one I'm looking at here, Clayton Kershaw. Not a huge walk guy, but facing the Angels, you know, if he comes up with Trout, Otani, you might see him kind of pitch around those guys just because Kershaw is so dominant. You don't want to give up, you know, a cheap home run here to give the Angels a chance. And you could see him pitch around these guys. So one and a half. I'm going to be taking the over on that. You know, he's not a huge walk guy, but I think just in this situation where a team has, you know, a couple power hitters, you might see a couple more walks. Guys that draw more walks, 
on this team. So Kershaw is going to be the next pick here for me. For the next pick, we're coming over to Odds Jam, where you could check out in the link down below. You'll get 25% off with my code DYNAMO as well. They have a really good tool over here. They have a ton of stuff on Odds Jam. This is just one of the tools that you could get. And you can see the chance to hit based on other sports books. So Cutter Crawford here over on the strikeouts at five. They have all these other books that, you know, don't do flat props here, but four and a half pinnacle, one of the sharpest books, has them at minus 171 to go over four and a half. So definitely they are expecting a push with the potential to go over that strikeout amount. FanDuel's got him at 160, DraftKings 160, Caesars 165, and then BetMGM only minus 145. But I like Pinnacle the best. I think they have the sharpest odds, and theirs has the best chance to go over on this. So really good tool here. Really easy to see, you know, five sports books at once and get that higher percent chance to hit based on that. So Cutter Crawford here is going to be the fifth pick on the over on the strikeouts. All right, guys, get in the Discord here. We got a bunch of WNBA MLB talk going on today. Also, if you want the picks, check out the VIP section of the Discord to get all of our picks from 10 cappers who have been winning, posting all the wins in here that people are following and making some money with as well. So just a quick recap of the picks. We got Cutter Crawford over five strikeouts, Kershaw over one and a half walks, Paul DeJong under... One and a half strikeouts. Glasnow under on the strikeouts. And Freeman going to get at least one run. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, definitely subscribe to the channel. Check out the Discord for free. Maybe even the VIP picks. And Odds Jam if you want to get that tool that we use for the Crawford pick. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.